Welcome to Finances Do Matter. My name's Richard, and today we're going to look at tip number 10 in our 10 tips for investment series. Yes, at the start of this series, our very first tip was essentially to establish a plan. And now we've come to the end of the series, it should not be too much of a surprise if the final tip is stick to that plan. Now, what do I mean by that? And please, it's important that no one confuses what I'm about to say, because there is an argument that you should change the plan under certain circumstances. But broadly speaking, the danger when you start an investment of any kind, and particularly in the early stages, is to keep looking at that investment. Have you ever bought a cryptocurrency or an equity share or even a fund or even property? And then for the next day, week, month, and sometimes even a year, I found out with cryptocurrencies for sure, you're looking at the price every day and you're seeing how well it's performed. And the danger with doing that, quite frankly, is if it's going up, you get very excited and you're tempted to put in even more money. And if it's going down, you become fearful and you think, I th might have made a mistake. I'd better pull my money out. Whereas any investment advisor, and this isn't investment advice, but it's a tip, any investment advisor will tell you that when you invest, you should do for the long term. So it doesn't really matter if you've got the long term in mind, whatever's happening to interest rate. It doesn't matter what's happening to inflation. It doesn't even matter really what's happening to prices such as equities, such as bonds, such as cryptocurrencies, such as property, such as precious metals. Because if you're investing on a monthly basis over a long period of time, when the prices go down, you're buying more of those assets. Yes, when the prices go up, you're buying less. But of course, the assets you then hold are worth more. So stick to the plan. Now, I said at the beginning, there may be one or two exceptions. And those exceptions are really when there is such a significant move away from the asset class that you're in that perhaps indicates they will never recover. So, for example, let's say you've invested in a fossil fuel company and you've seen the trend towards greener energy. Now, unless that company adapts what it is actually doing and starts to invest in green technology itself, you know it may very well have a finite life. Whether you agree with what's happening with regards to fossil fuels or disagree about its future, there is definitely a trend moving away from it, though it's going to be hard to see the Earth survive without fossil fuels for quite a few years yet. But let's say you invested in a technology company that were perhaps focusing on CDs or DVDs. Do you remember those? Well, today, they virtually don't exist. So yes, you do have to look for those, what I call mega trends away from that asset class. But broadly speaking, if you're investing wisely, you're not putting all of your eggs into one basket and you are spreading your risk across a range of assets. So over time, almost regardless of what you look at, whether it be precious metals, which generally have not performed phenomenally well, but they've held up well against inflation in the main over the long term. Then you look at things like cryptocurrencies, which have performed extraordinarily well, unless, of course, you invested in them about 18 months ago, and now you could be losing up to 80% or more. Or more commonly investing in equities. Yes, we've seen some major stock market falls over the last 12 months, but do you know what? Your investment is still likely to be higher today than it was 10 years ago. 
And so in time, over time, your investment portfolio should grow, providing you've taken care of the checks and balances that are necessary to have a well diversified portfolio of assets. Yes, there is room for risk and that's down to your own risk appetite and really risk persona and how old you are at the time of investing. What tends to happen, and it isn't always the case, is that as you get older and the closer you get to retirement, the more safe and secure you want those investments to be. Because when you're young, you can afford to take risks because if you put a chunk of money into something that could double, treble, quadruple within a year or two, but instead collapses to zero, you still have enough time, 30, 40, maybe 50 years in which to recover. But when you're my age and you're 60 or you move up to 65 or 70, you have less time available in which to recover. And so as a natural course of events for the majority of people, you become more risk averse and have less of a risk appetite. So stick to your plan, but review it regularly. Not every day, perhaps every couple of years to look and see how that plan is performing and whether you need to make new adjustments. The new adjustments might be placing additional monies into a slightly different asset class or sector. But broadly think about why you took that investment out in the first place. What were the considerations that you had when you took that investment out and how your circumstances the investment environment and the world as a whole has changed. But what you should not do is if, and providing if, you started your investment plan carefully with due diligence and appropriate research, there is no need to keep looking at it day by day or week by week or even month by month. Review it every few years, look at what you have available look at your own personal financial circumstances and realize why you took that investment plan out in the first place and don't tend to change your mind unless it's absolutely essential. Well, that's tip number 10. In my next video, I will put all 10 tips into that video, which will be really a repeat of the 10 videos we've produced, but in summary form. But meanwhile, I would ask you please to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and to press that important bell sign, just in case YouTube doesn't notify you when our next video appears. And until then, safe investing.